welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today, after 12 days of travel, I wanted to share some impressions of Morocco. I primarily create styling videos and I do want to show what I wore on this trip as well. I do love a styling challenge and packing a minimal wardrobe that has to fit temperatures between 12 and 30 degrees and can be used in different situations was definitely a challenge. But I also wanted to share some little clips of my stay there. It's been quite some time since I felt this relaxed and I'm hopeful that the footage of this trip can effectively translate this feeling. For this trip I packed one jeans, one light trousers that you can see here, a skirt, two dresses. I also packed two button-ups, a short sleeve and a long sleeve, one fleece, a wool jumper and a light cotton jumper and then a bunch of t-shirts and for shoes I just had my sneakers and slippers. I went with my sister on this trip and our first stop was Marrakesh. We stayed there for three nights, from the hustle and bustle of the Medina to the tranquility of all the gardens. Marrakesh stole our hearts from the moment we arrived. After Marrakesh, we rented a car to go to Esaouira and this was my travel outfit. It's oversized, modest, but still very light. I also brought two bags, this black leather bag that I will wear with this outfit I thrifted a month ago. I wore this one the most because it fits the essentials, but it's also pretty enough to go to restaurants and things like that. I also brought a crossbody bag that I could wear on walks, but I honestly didn't wear that as much as I thought I was going to. So Esaouira is a coastal town known for its bohemian vibe and windswept beaches. And for us, it provided the perfect escape from the hustle of the city. It's a lot more quiet. I felt very relaxed there and I honestly could stay there for a whole month. It was a lot colder there, around 20 degrees, so I used my fleece a lot from COS, but also this sweater, which is a, a COS sweater as well, it's linen and it doesn't really provide any heat, I have to say, but in Esauera it was sunny also a lot of the time, so it provided a layer, so I didn't have to use sunscreen all the time. A couple of days later we went to another city, so we ventured to the laid-back surf village of Tagazut. Nestled between the mountains and the ocean, Tagazut offered a serene backdrop for relaxation and adventure. It was a lot hotter there, I think I experienced 30 degrees there, so I was very happy that I brought this shirt, which is very oversized and light, and a little bit of a vacation shirt, I would say. I wear this in summer in Belgium as well, but I really feel like a tourist in it, and not in a bad way sometimes. I like to feel like a tourist, I don't know, I like to go for local spots, but I don't think it's bad to look like a tourist. Because for me it just amplifies the feeling that I am on vacation. Whether I was watching the waves, hiking through the mountains, or simply watching the sunset from our rooftop terrace, the Gazoot had a way of slowing down time and allowing me to truly connect with myself and the world around me. In this place, I gravitated to a lot of simple looks, just a t-shirt with some pants, and when I was hiking, I wore this little black dress that is from Kos as well, and then my green bathing suit. I think most people go to Tagazut for surfing, so most of the people you will see there are dressed very practically, so it's not really the place for dressing up. And it's also not something I wanted to do there, I just wanted to 
so kind of use and I wasn't really concerned about how I looked if that makes sense which is a very nice feeling I have to say I traveled with my sister and we both loved Azawera, so we just decided to go back there after Tarazut. There I wore this outfit, it's also a very simple outfit with these black silk pants that I interchanged for my jeans when it got colder and then I have this button up that I thrifted a year ago and I am very happy about it. I thrift a lot of shirts but this one has a little bit of a thicker cotton and I really like the colors and the stripes on it. We stayed in six places in total, two in Marrakech, two in Esauera and two in Tarazout. And this is my favorite, it was a second one in Esauera and it was very eclectic but I also liked how they played with colors and it was something we hadn't really seen there. And this was the view we had when we stayed at the terrace which is not bad. I didn't film all the things that I packed with me, so I also brought this Xandra's button up and this is also a very lightweight shirt and here you can see the sandals that I brought with me and then I also brought this black bag that I wore pretty much every day I think. And this was another place you could use to sit around to read a book and to just enjoy the view because it was right next to the terrace and I also really like the interior of that one. After that we went back to Marrakech because we stayed there for one more night and then we had to take our flight. So that was the day that I wore this dress which is very lightweight. It's a cotton dress but it's still very modest which I think was nice to wear in Marrakech. And to be fair, on the way back I wore a sweater and a jeans, not because I wanted to, not because it was cold, but because I had to save some space in my bag. So that was everything for this video. I didn't film everything we did, I mostly filmed when I felt relaxed and that is the overall feeling I had this trip so I hope you enjoyed it and I will be back with another video about some wardrobe um, updates because I did buy some things in Marrakech but mostly when I came back so I'll see you soon with another styling video of things I bought